So the space club is getting bigger and bigger by the day. It's true. We have a new entrant, and that's Eric Schmidt. He oh, just yeah. joined as CEO of Relativity. That's true. Can you share some insights on this, or maybe even from the customer perspective, why you would use Relativity versus SpaceX? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, obviously, we're uh, very, very, you know, sort of happy, you know, sort of customers of, you know, sort of SpaceX, but at the same time, um, you're, you know, in any part of your supply chain, you'd always obviously love to have multiple vendors. Um, right now, there's nothing that comes anywhere close to, you know, sort of their cost, their cadence, their capabilities. Um, Eric Schmidt, you know, entering the you know, scene is definitely an interesting wrinkle, you know, relativity, you know, as now has been publicly reported was definitely on like the brinks of bankruptcy, you know, sort of earlier, um, or, you know, uh, towards the end of last year, um, Eric Schmidt coming in as the rescue crew, you know, is not a, you know, there's not a historical, um, pattern that you can match to you on that where it's, you know, sort of worked before. Um, I've obviously incentivized for you know, him to work. I would love for there to be, you know, sort of more launch providers. Um, I think, you know, realistically, that seems like a really difficult hole to dig yourself out of where you're, you know, sort of billions of dollars, the team's probably somewhat, you know, sort of demotivated. And if you compare that to, you know, there now are a decent number of players, you know, obviously Rocket Labs really succeeded with their Electron, you know, sort of platform. They're now starting to work on Neutron. Their space systems group is really quite large. You know, Bezos has finally gotten Blue Origin, you know, sort of to orbit for the first time. Firefly is clearly showing some capabilities, obviously most recently on their lunar lander, but their, you know, sort of launch, you know, sort of vehicle has shown some promise. You've got folks like Stoke Aerospace that I think are really pushing the fold on what, you know, sort of next generation fully reusable, you know, sort of rockets could look like. Um, so, man, it's definitely, you know, Hard to imagine, you know, uh, how that one works. It's not a challenge that I personally would want to take on, no matter how many billions I had in my bank account. I'd probably prefer to just start from scratch. Um, but, you know, sort of credit and you know, credit to him and the best of luck to him. Um, hope that he's able to figure it out. It'll be interesting to see also how much of like, you know, he's obviously a phenomenal operator, but, you know, sort of how much of his prior operational work translates to this field. Obviously, like Elon was able to jump from like software payments land into, you know, rockets and, you know, cars. And people kind of forget that at the end of the day, he was actually a software guy first. Um, you know, can Eric Schmidt execute that same transition and especially, you know, at the age that he's at, um, all that very non-trivial, but, um, yeah, better, more people try than not.